um, you, so if you think if we walked away from this, didn't give them money today, it would be worse for us from a security standpoint? I do. I do. We're building a relationship that just did not exist. I said in our last trip when you were with me that we had a huge trust deficit, in part because the United States had, to be, to be fair, we had helped to create the problem we're now fighting. How? Because when the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan, we had this brilliant idea that we were going to come to Pakistan and create a force of Mujahideen, equip them with Stinger missiles and everything else to go after the Soviets inside Afghanistan. And we were successful. The Soviets left Afghanistan. And then we said, great, goodbye, leaving these trained people who were fanatical in Afghanistan and Pakistan, leaving them well armed, creating a mess, frankly, that... Uh, at the time, we didn't really recognize. We were just so happy to see the Soviet Union fall, and we thought, okay, fine, we're, we're okay now. Everything's going to be so much better. Now you look back, the people we're fighting today, we were supporting in the fight against the Soviet. We also have a history of kind of moving in and out of Pakistan. I mean, let's remember here, the people we are fighting today, we funded 20 years ago. And we did it because we were locked in this struggle with the Soviet Union. They invaded Afghanistan, and we did not want to see them control Central Asia. And we went to work. And it was President Reagan, in partnership with the Congress, um, led by Democrats, who said, you know what, sounds like a pretty good idea. Tonight I want to speak to you about what the United States will do with our friends and allies to degrade and ultimately destroy the terrorist group known as ISIL. So with the additional steps I ordered last month, we're speeding up training of ISIL forces, including volunteers from Sunni tribes in Anbar province. So with the additional steps I ordered last month, we're speeding up training of ISIL forces, including volunteers from Sunni tribes. Yes, let's fight against ISIL ISIS forces by speeding up the training of ISIL ISIS forces. We're speeding up training of ISIL forces. The meeting in the White House over two years ago, everyone in the national security team recommended uh, arming ISIS. We're speeding up training of ISIL forces. The, the US-led ISIS coalition. We're speeding up training of ISIL forces. I've been skeptical from the get-go about the notion that we were going to effectively create this proxy army inside of Syria. Tonight I call on Congress again to give us additional authorities and resources to train and equip these fighters. 1984 of course points out that it's this weird Orwellian world where your enemy is now your friend is now your enemy and you're never at war, you're always at war, you're never at war, there's perpetual war, and the sides are always flipping, and it's not supposed to make sense. We're speeding up training of ISIL forces. Give us additional authorities and resources to train and equip these fighters. I guess it's not supposed to make sense. I don't know. I've been skeptical from the get-go. We're speeding up training of ISIL forces about the notion that we were going to effectively create this proxy army inside of Syria. We must declare war on war so the outcome will be peace upon peace. We're speeding up training of ISIL forces. We're speeding up training of ISIL 